I'm back. But that really only applies if you've seen the Saturday wrap. If you haven't, hello. Um, this is another wrap. This is the Day 01 wrap for MB12, Friday the 29th of September 2023. Um, Gloucester Oktoberfest. And it's come around again, despite the fact that it didn't look like it was going to happen for quite some time. But there you go. Anyway, what happened? Yeah, 20 mile an hour. Yeah, it's safer. I know. Let's turn all the street lights off as well when it's dark. That makes things safer. Yeah, you become very cynical about the whole thing. And then you have or are in a huge queue of traffic just dawdling around while no one else is out. Well, there you go. And the M4, the M4 was a, I know it was 50 mile an hour through Newport and that, but when that ends, it's a bit like a racetrack. It really is. Um, the M5 was, well, there were lots of traffic works getting onto it. Um, so that slowed things down, but it was gently getting light, which I suspect will be the last time of this year. Um, uh, cause after that it will be pitch black. But it was a nice journey up. It was a really nice journey. A little bit fresh, a little bit autumnal, but it was light when I arrived at Gloucester. And then straight over to um, the Star oh, Starbucks, what am I about? Sainsbury's, um, where I had lots of extra bonus nectar points. They don't have any saline though. You know, these things are sent to try us. And in a bit of bad luck, um, £7.55 for a bacon roll and a medium cappuccino. For some reason, and it didn't come up on the till and it didn't come up on the board, they no longer do deals uh, for breakfast. Well, not in this one. Um, I know it's a drive through I didn't drive through it. I sat in there, but £7.55. Hellishly expensive. Yeah, there you go. And on the way over to the Lord High Constable of England, the bridge above the canal well it went up to let a narrow boat go through and then coming back later it was up again and it's like buses i'd never seen it go up I've seen the other one go up but not that one and not twice in one day it was quite impressive actually i liked it a lot anyway lord high constable of england the local spoons new carpet I was busting to ask them how much it cost, but I decided not to in the end. And it's, I think it's a nice carpet. And I sat in there and remembered that I hadn't taken my headset. So that's why this and various other things are all being done in the hotel because it's nice and quiet here, even though I have sound isolation on. Probably better lighting as well. Uh, there you go. Anyway, um, pop down the brew house and kitchen. They've done a Marzen. It was six pound ten a pint. It was really nice, um, but checking on Untapped, it didn't say whether they would brewed it on site or not. There were a couple of other brew house and kitchens, all with the same logos and whatever, and probably the same recipe. Or oh, did they brew it in one of them and then transport it around? I'm not sure. Um, but if you got one near you and you like your fest beers, and you're willing to spend six pound and ten at least, it's worth it. It's very worth it, to be perfectly honest. And I could see Warehouse 4 from where I was sitting. So I wandered over there. It was a bit quiet. I mean, they had, well, the mezzanine lay layer is, layer, uh, level is now open. And uh, they had five fest beers on and uh, Vienna Red and lots of other beers and such like and I've come away with a new glass uh, I checked on Monday whether the tickets were there because when I went on their site they still said processing they said don't worry we have a list you just show up there um, when I got there they didn't have the list but that was no problem um, I went straight into them to beers just started drinking them um, and tapped for the 2023 versions um and um they got great wi-fi really good wi-fi but no food well they had nuts and crisps and all that sort of thing but i was expecting sauerkraut at least um and here's the thing i kind of fell asleep 
Um, I'm blaming it on late getting back from Manchester on Thursday early start um, quite a few uh, beers and of course these um, fest beers quite strong uh, they were very polite and asked me if I wanted a glass of water which I didn't um, but I think um, I must have only nodded off for a little while and there was a guy playing uh, music he was really good um, but was unaware of burn um, by Deep Purple Mark III you know Coverdale etc um it was all very good i'm going back on sunday i suspect there possibly might be food then um i haven't booked in for today because it's going to be packed out with people and you know what i think of people um i'd rather not be around them but there you go so um all in all <laughs> i don't want to say a curate's egg because it wasn't but it was a great day out and it was slightly different there you go oh five minutes that's a bit long i need to get this one uploaded as well thank you for watching